I think first of all the law that has come out for setting up foundations helps a lot of uh, corporates to do their philanthropic work a little bit more structured manner and uh, philanthropy is not only about giving, uh, it's also about creating opportunities. So I think what's going on in this region uh, is amazing and as a matter of fact all over Asia when you see how philanthropy is being adopted. In the US, the numbers are over $300 billion a year. In Asia, it's increasing very rapidly. Global Sustainability Network was founded two years ago after about 10 years of efforts towards triple bottom line. For those uh, of our guests uh, who don't know what triple bottom line, it's economic, social, and environmental impact of everything we do. We have gotten a lot of support, including from His Excellency Mr. Aziz, who is here with us, as uh, one of the founding members of Global Sustainability Network, which was founded after a joint declaration against slavery. Slavery still exists in our businesses, we just don't look for it. When we went studying about slavery, we found a lot of slavery exists in businesses uh, and in our normal life. Uh, we did a lot of effort bringing uh, communication into it, bringing social media awareness, and we got all faith leaders to have a joint declaration against slavery, got United Nations to adopt ending slavery in sustainable development goals, and hence goal eight, which is about sustainable economic development, encompasses opportunities for people, job creation, doing businesses without slavery, uh, economic, uh, this uh, ecotourism, and any and everything that reduces youth unemployment. We've gathered governments, faith, and every businesses together to focus on goal eight, which is to be delivered by 2030. The example is education for employment. Yes. And I'll give you a very real example with Citibank, with Pepsi, with uh, MBC, uh, some of the many partners we have who are helping this uh, program which looks at youth unemployment. We are already active in Egypt, Tunisia, Morocco, Jordan, uh, quite a few countries where companies stationed out of Dubai are looking at expansion in uh, Egypt, like in a real example of Majid al uh, for their uh, mall. Even further east. Jobs. Further east. For, for the, yeah. Further east, uh, we are talking about companies in UAE, who are supporting initiatives in Philippines. Uh, there are uh, a lot of initiatives uh, that we are looking at in Bangladesh. Uh, there is collaboration going on on ecotourism with Sri Lanka. So, so there is a lot that we are co uh, coordinating, especially when it comes to goal eight. And what we do is we bring all stakeholders together to build collaboration rather than competition only because we need to increase efficiency in the areas where people are doing good in humanitarian areas. Mm -hmm.